guys, and welcome to a y'all here in this bonus reaction video. Yes, a little bonus, oh, bonus, yes. little some, some. Yeah, we're so excited. So, if you guys are just joining us, we are a uh, music appreciation podcast slash video reaction channel here. Mm -hmm. So, every week we pick a theme. We each pick a song for this theme, film a reaction, and then we also have our podcast, which is available on all the different services. Yeah. And so, this week we picked California Dreaming as our theme. Kind of mm -hmm. those songs you want to listen to while you're driving down the yes, highway. Yes, cruising music. Yeah, windows rolled down, mm -hmm. you know. And so I picked a Pink Floyd song called Learning to Fly. Mm -hmm. And while we were talking about it, I just came into my head this other song that we mm. really wanted to take a listen to. Yeah. So, yeah, so we're filming this little bonus reaction. But just to get into a little bit, so mm -hmm. we don't monetize these uh, videos um, for YouTube. We really feel like the copyright owner should get the money for mm -hmm. it. Um, but there are other ways to support us. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And just, you know, look in the description box mm -hmm. and uh, check out all the links. And uh, you can definitely find other ways to support us. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm excited to hear this because, yeah. like you were saying, when we were filming um, and the song popped into your mind, I'm like, that just sounds so incredible. Oh, it's so, the emotions in this song. And, and like I said, it's just vocalizing, you know. Mm. So, so is it like an interlude or is it like an actual full song? It's a full like, song. Oh, yeah. It's so beautiful. It's mostly obviously instrumental piano. I kind love of that. Thing, but it is so beautiful. They don't do that too much often. They don't. Yeah. And no, then, this is from yeah. Dark Side of the Moon. So this is a Pink Floyd song and it's called The Great Gig in the Sky. Um, if anyone oh. else has ever, you know, listened to this. But yeah, let us know below what you think, uh, mm. what you would pick for the theme of California Dream. This isn't necessarily for our theme. It just kind of yeah. popped into our head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like a, you know, a nice, nice to kind of tie everything together. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So, all right, let's get into this. You ready? Let's do it. And play. who the actual vocalist is? They do some, I'll oh, find yeah, it. Yeah, 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 whatever, yeah. I can't remember her name, I was like, it's Anne This something. is a bonus episode, so we don't yeah, have to like, I'm sorry, we ain't yeah. gotta be so prim and proper, <laughs> yeah, girl. We, I gotta, didn't, we gonna let loose the lips. Yeah, yeah. You I know what I'm saying? Let the titties hang, honey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't do 
do any research on this. I just know I love yeah. this song so much. It's one of my favorites from this album. Yeah. And it just so have you ever heard of Dark Side of the Rainbow? Where I people haven't. People watch The Wizard of Oz and play this at the same time. So you pl- you watch Wizard of Oz. Is this that song that? Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna let you finish. I'm gonna so end up gonna ask. Okay. I've only ever done it once, and I don't know that we did it right. But I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, this is when the tornado is happening. Yeah. Because I was going to say, because somebody, I saw, I read something that somebody at one point said, like, oh, that's actually the voice of the witch, like, being, like, Mm -hmm. knocked down type of situation, or that's, like, her anguish. It is funny how some things really mash up. So there's parts where in one of the songs you hear, like, planes passing by, and it's while she's singing over the rainbow, and she, like, looks up. And like, and that's and creepy. The beginning of Money. I don't know if you know that song, but it starts with like cash register kind of jingling or whatever. It's right when she opens the door to the color. Yeah. So anyway, we should we should do that. That can be one of our music movies. So, so I was gonna yeah. say, oh, we should actually look up like perfect mashups yeah. of stuff like that. Because I bet someone has it online now that you yeah. can just find. Oh, God, so you yeah. don't have to like. Because it was like at the third oh. lion's roar for the MGM. You press play or so. And it's like, and it's also easier to like now mash everything up. Yeah, like yeah. you can just line it up. That's yeah. I, whoever is singing. Yeah. I was like, she going through something. Anyway, I felt that. I think it gets better. You ready? Oh, I'm about to clutch my. Let's go. like holding it back I love that it's one of those songs that made me realize like that's what you can do with just your voice right which is like ridiculous what it can make you feel was so let me tell you something you know you know you that bitch when you can literally do a whole song where you do not pronounce a single word Mm -hmm. and you have people completely entranced like I I'm sitting here with my eyes closed and I feel like I'm looking at her perform as if like she's literally almost like um oh god it reminds me of like uh in jazz music where they have um like conversations and they're like the improvs mm-hmm. back and forth and like the scatting back like I feel like she just did that yeah and like I could just picture her performing and like hitting certain notes like and trying to you know depict and exhume whatever she's feeling and mm-hmm. like for you to do that and for Pink Floyd to make a backing track like that that was dope yeah. and I and side note too I, like y- y'all are gonna learn I, I get so into music I just I keep talking mm-hmm. I love that Pink Floyd and I feel like um 
And I feel like they might have been known to this, and I could be wrong because, I again, I haven't listened to a lot of Pink Floyd, but what I do know is everything that I have heard from them, there is always an underlying, like, I don't want to, I don't know if it's soul or funk or, mm -hmm. there's just some sort of underlying, bluesy. like, bluesy sound to their music. And, you know, I feel like, um, I just feel like that, you know, as, as for me as a black person and as um, a very big lover of, like, the history of music and sounds and stuff, mm -hmm. I feel like that, and I've said it from day one, like, R&B and soul music and um, original rock and roll and stuff is is dated back to oh, black people, and it's yeah, like it's sure. dope to hear a band like Pink Floyd come out. Wait until we get into Zeppelin, bitch. Listen, listen, I, ooh, listen. That was another band my dad loved was Led Zeppelin, and now listening to this, this is why I love your style of music because, and I love that you're so eclectic because. I wouldn't have even thought of that, but that is something I would have listened to. Like, and it's so powerful, you know what I mean? And it's so dope, and I'm like, that's the shit I'm talking about. It's like, this genre is so different, but it still intersects. Like, oh, for sure. and I live for that. I love that, and so I love many, that they do that. Yeah, like, I can't think of any classic rock band that, you know, that I love anyway that wasn't influenced by... yeah. Like yeah. musicians yeah. directly. I love that. Yeah. And I love that we're talking about that today because yeah. whenever anybody sees this, you know what I'm saying, today's Juneteenth. Hey. And oh, it's yes, like, that's right. you know what I mean? Juneteenth, yes. So thank yeah. you. Thank you. I love that. Do you know that somebody texted me today and was like, I don't know if this is correct, but I just want to say happy Juneteenth. And I'm like, yes, it is. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's dope that you're, you chose, again, a band yeah. that, and they're not shy about... You know what I mean? They don't hold it back, clearly. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I love that. Because definitely in that time period, I'm sure it wasn't like record labels were not like happy with bands probably coming and being like, we're going to add some soul into our music. And it's just like, and it's a whole other conversation. But Yeah, it makes me think of that story from uh, 20 Feet from Stardom. The yes. went to the Rolling Stones and did... Um, Whoa, children! Yes. Yeah. What's her name? Mary Clark. Uh, um. So oh, that wow. was um. That was um. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Sorry, I've no, 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 no. Because you just know. Because my memory, I swear, is like is is going. Um. That was because she's also the the same person that did um. Yes, I know who you're talking yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, We're yeah. gonna have to look it up, yeah. but I know who you're talking about. But yes, same sentiments. Yeah. Same sentiments. Yeah. So, so this dope. singer, her name is Claire Tory, um, and so she, let's say, so during the first half of 1972, they performed it live as a simple organ instrumental, accompanied by spoken word samples from the Bible and snippets of speeches by Malcolm Muggeridge, who is a British writer known for his conservative religious views. Huh, that's a very different song. Mm. By September 1972, they had switched it to a piano. Uh, with an arrangement very similar to the final form, but without vocals. And then um, various sound effects were tried over the track, including recordings of NASA astronauts communicating on space missions, but none were satisfactory. Mm, uh, finally, that's dope to go with the theme. Yeah. Finally, a couple of weeks before the album was due to be finished, the band thought of having a female single wail over the music. Um, so their album engineer was Alan Parsons. He suggested Claire Torrey, who is a 25-year-old songwriter and session vocalist. Mm -hmm. uh, he had uh, previously worked with her. Um, let's see. She had took, she, they tried to arrange a session for that same evening. Uh, she had other commitments, including tickets to see Chuck Berry that evening. <laughs> oh, uh, she was like, no, ma'am. <laughs> so a session was scheduled for Sunday evening between 7 and 10 p.m. They played the track for her, asked her to improvise a vocal. Um, at first, she wasn't sure what they wanted, but then she was inspired to pretend that she herself was an instrument. Dope. She performed two complete takes, the second one more emotional than the first. Uh, he, David Gilmour asked for a third take, but halfway through, she stopped, saying she was getting repetitive and had already done the best. And then the final album track was assembled from all three takes. Wow. Yep. So That's three takes. Dope. Yeah. 
That's incredible. Yeah, oh, my God. Yeah. Shout out to her, to the band, to just the producers, everybody that was in there in that moment. Yeah. This, that's just, and that's I love that they gave her free reign, and they're like, this is what we have. Right. You give us what you have, and let's see what we can make right. together. And, I, I mean, obviously, it wasn't like a hit or anything. Right, time, right. But, like, but, it, but it's it was one of my favorites off that album. And that's how I can tell that you're a real, like, I feel like music lovers, like, like nitty, I'm sure, like, all music lovers, but yeah. I feel like ones that are like us, like, the ones that are, like, kind of nerdy with it, mm-hmm. I always feel like, obviously, we love the singles on albums, but I feel like we really tend to go towards, like, the cuts, the album cuts that are mm-hmm. much bigger. Yeah. And we should definitely have a theme where it's, like, this should have been a, th- a single. Yeah. <laughs> that should be a theme, like, this should have been a, th- a single, because that's dope. Yeah. That's dope. I love the power of just your voice as an instrument. Yeah. I love that idea. Like, yeah. yes, words are super powerful and you can absolutely convey so much with them too, mm-hmm. but, oh. That's so dope. Being able to use your voice like that is so amazing. I I'm love here it. for it. Well, thank you for sharing, yeah, girl, because that was you. everything. Yeah, I'm glad I finally got to hear it. Yeah, and this was a perfect time to do this. Yeah, so yeah, this is sure. like our intro to, this is like number one yeah. to like to our like extras. behind extras, Bonus bonuses. Content. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah, Joe, I'm I here for it. it. Me too. Yes. Well, right, thank guys. you guys for listening yes. and supporting. Yes, thank you. Like, subscribe, leave a comment below. What would you pick for the theme? Mm-hmm. What do you think about Pink Floyd? What's your favorite Pink Floyd songs? Yeah. And yeah, and uh, we'll go check from us there. out our other videos. Yeah. Like and subscribe. And Streaming stuff. platforms, all that great stuff. Yeah, exactly. You know what to do. You know what's up. <laughs> we love you. Thank uh, you so much. Bye, guys. guys.